the Web Club Conference had just been finished last week and everybody hopefully had the time to get back to home, relax and start figuring out how are all of the updates that Web Club just announced going to be influencing our Webflow business, uh, are going to be changing the way businesses work with Webflow and many other things uh, based on all the updates. In this video, I'm going to go over update by update and give my opinion on how I think these updates are going to change the way we work in Webflow in 2023. So even though we didn't go to the conference itself in person, we've actually held a Webflow meetup live at our hub in East Serbia. I think there were more like more than 50 people actually coming to the conference itself here at our office, at our hub. And it was a great experience. We're going to be probably sharing a lot more on that on social media over the next weeks. Uh, but until then, let's jump straight into updates. Uh, the first update is that symbols are our component. So I know everybody from our team kind of we currently have 26, 27 people at the agency. Uh, like our devs are not so happy about the change because of the UI changes and everything like that. I mean, that's gonna require us some time to get used to. But after that learning curve and like just figuring out where to click or maybe we have to shipping a few more updates, this is gonna be a great update for marketing teams and anybody else using Webflow in the future. Basically, we're able to connect CMS to components. We're able to hide and show elements in components. Um, and then also kind of, we're gonna be able to edit new on canvas items. So let's go ahead and figure out how is that gonna work. The first example is like, you can see like double, just double clicking on a component is not gonna do much, like you're directly editing the, the component itself. So basically by clicking the wrench, we can go ahead and edit, edit the component. We can again connect um, in headings like we were able to do previously, but then also we have new visibility items. This is gonna be great because we're gonna be able to, let's say, add things to change colors on the background. Let's, let's say add a div and then show and hide it based on like if you wanna add uh, a different color of our component, like we can hide and show buttons because we had a pain uh, like project where we had to hide and show buttons from components because the client wanted to have everything in symbols previously. And we had to write a lot of custom code when we're gonna show an item, when we're gonna hide an item, etc. Etc. But this it makes your life a lot easier. And then uh, basically, like if you just want to click on a component afterward, click out of it, click again. Let's go ahead and hide the buttons. Bam, that's pretty easy. And then of course we can change text like we 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 could previously. Also. One of the things that was really like a pain for me is like we developed like, a hero component that's gonna be used across five different CMSs. You would every single time paste the component on the page, unlink a symbol, then connect it to the CMS, then you find a bug, then you need to go through five different CMS items to go ahead and fix everything. Right now, it's gonna make like our, our lives a lot easier. And we're gonna be able to build component based things like cards and many other things and actually connect them to the CMS. So if we go to the CMS, we can see right now that we can connect the heading to the name, we can connect the label to the date, for example, and many other things on that front. This is gonna be, I feel like, one of the game-changing features of how we develop things on Webflow and how we think specifically for bigger enterprise projects and bigger projects on Webflow, how we actually approach them and how we develop all of the things on them. The next thing that uh, Webflow has announced is DevLink. I know, like for many people, like currently this doesn't sound like a big, big deal, but I feel like with this feature, Webflow basically becomes like the go-to tool for visual development. Basically, front end is not gonna be uh, written, like it's gonna start being written in Webflow, and Webflow is, in my opinion, like over the next five years, gonna be the go-to tool for front end. So, like we've added an example for uh, like DevLink, like the page itself, but imagine Upwork. I'm not saying this is gonna happen, probably like it's not gonna happen in the foreseeable future, but they have a component library. They have this checkbox, they have this card, they have the search box, they have many things that are currently on their platform, managed uh, in a manually written code format. And if their platform is on React, we're gonna be able to develop all of the components on Webflow, make updates to the component library much easier. And many of the things like that we couldn't do before are not going to be possible. And I feel like it's going to allow a completely separate branch for Webflow to uh, branch out and kind of do more updates. Then the next update is going to be the native multi-language. I know many, many folks may be listening here are from US, but in Europe, this is going to be a game changing feature. Like we know how much we're using kind of Wiglot for their partners and we love the platform. 
but having a native integration in Webflow or multi-language uh, gonna help a lot of clients actually decide to go with Webflow because maybe they don't wanna use a third-party tool or whatever, like, like just making sure that whatever, like uh, we're still not sure how the integration is gonna be uh, presented, but whatever we have, that we have it natively in Webflow, that we can do QA because like going over and having a German word uh, QA only after you go live and it's like this, and like, the whole website breaks. It's not a fun experience specifically uh, like when you have a lot of pages to go over and QA uh, only on the production. So this is going to actually like have a lot of the European market, a lot of the like all of the market. I mean, like apart from US, I feel like that's uh, actually using a lot of multi-language and even for US, for a lot of companies wanting to go ahead and add multi-language to their website and expand to other markets. It's going to be really important. Then, like for memberships and logic, so, like membership is in beta for everybody. Uh, this is also gonna like let's say Devlink is gonna open one world, or, like Thimble is gonna open like opponents are gonna open up a different way of developing the workflow. But memberships is gonna add a completely new bracket, let's say for us as an agency, for possible work we can do. I mean, like at the moment we're currently testing uh, like our beta platform for our clients, as we actually wanna make sure that like our full experience at the agency, the six star experience, and like. That every single touch point where you can interact with us, like if you're our partner, if you like to call clients like we're our partner as we do long-term engagements, is we started to create like our platform, like the Flow Ninja Hub, where all of our clients are gonna be able to manage their like invoices, they're gonna be able to see how much our hours are spent. Um, like they're gonna be able to see our tutorials we recorded for them and many more things. We're not possible if we didn't have Apple memberships and like are gonna be like, really secure and like are gonna be able to um, like add that much additional value to our customers. And then like to anybody else actually wanting to create a platform is gonna allow for that many uh, more ideas to realize the workflow. We're also planning on some of our like bootstrap platforms to, to be created, uh, like to impact the local community and many other things. And hopefully kind of that's gonna be realized in 2023. Then um, like the next thing is like the agency kind of guest and freelancer guest account. I, I cannot stress how key to the development process this is gonna be. Currently, we had to go ahead and like pay like pay for hosting first like on our account, like with the agency plan, like that's not removed. So like okay, first step is good. Then we had to transfer the account to the client, then the client had to pay for our workspace. Then like when they pay for our workspace, we need to get okay, okay, you need to pay for the workspace. Page, okay, we finish the website, then we're gonna do this, this, and this, but maybe afterwards you don't need to pay for a workspace, and then like it's a lot of back and forth and like, a lot of money wasted, and not actually good. So, when Webflow launches the guest roles for agencies and freelancers, it's gonna be really uh, a much easier and much more or less painful process for our clients and for anybody else using Webflow in terms of structure. And then also additionally, uh, Webflow is gonna be changing the way specific site access in the workspace itself. Like for bigger companies, like, well, like for example, like Upwork, where we have 10 different websites and projects filled with content and with projects, is it gonna be great to gauge who from marketing teams can access uh, which of uh, the project and like be that much more secure and like that know who can see what on, on the project itself. Then another like pretty fun update, currently testing that like pretty heavily and we're gonna figure out how that actually changes our development flow is page branching. So looking at that, uh, we've created a pretty fun test internally kind of the agency to go ahead and create this landing page with I think six of our team members. This is not a usual way you're gonna do it, but yeah, we just wanted to have and uh, go ahead and create fun uh, like just for the fun of it. So like in less than an hour, we created a fully QA and ready page um, with a few of our team members. like. One one of them was creating the navigation, one of them was creating a hero and this section, one of the team members was creating this, another one was creating these two sections, and then basically fully it up the website in different sections and assigned it to two, two team members, and then everybody just jumps on and like develops everything and like ships it in you know, time. Now the use case we're gonna do, like the proper use case for our clients is gonna be that we're gonna be able to have multiple developers in a single project. And like for large scale developments, uh, like usually in a normal dev process, like if you were doing like usual development, you could do that. But before in Webflow, you couldn't. And like with page branching, it's gonna allow us to be able to have three, four, or five developers in a single project, developing different pages, developing different branches of pages, making updates to the website much easier, and change our whole workflow of development of Webflow, uh, kind of basically from the ground up. 
Um, then um, the next update is going to be back to library, similar to like components. I feel like marketing teams are going to use components a lot, but where like sometimes they want to adjust things and like completely remove things and like just create a different like the component um, from the previous component. Libraries is going to be like a great use case because you can just drag a library that's like on the core managed and like we make sure like that is QA and then they can change it around, adjust it to that specific landing page and allow for more, more flexibility when marketing teams actually interact with Webflow. We've actually been introduced to like the, the, the Flow library, like in the initial product launch uh, of Webflow. So you can go ahead, like we're gonna leave a, a link down below so you can install the library. Um, and then also like the great use case is like, imagine a marketing team, you know, like just coming to Webflow, creating a new page, going here, layout, selecting the Flow library, seeing, okay, let's see, I need an FAQ, which an FAQ I'm gonna add. I need a blog, let me add a blog. I need a contact us, let me add this. I need some testimonials, I need a call to action. Um, I need a footer, like we have three different footers. I need an app bar and bam, in like five minutes or less, like marketing teams are gonna be able to create new marketing landing pages that are static, like not, not CMS related, that are QA, that everything is ready and like it's gonna actually gonna, you know, like our clients are gonna be able to come that much closer to our whole vision and mission for the agency to accelerate business growth with Webflow. And then like some small updates I feel like are not gonna like be a complete deal breaker to how Webflow works but are still important, are gonna be uh, like variable fonts. It's gonna be probably a, a fun like show topper, like just making sure that Whenever somebody comes to the website, like there's gonna be fun variable fonts kind of going back and forth. We're gonna be able to scale the CMS item to more than 10,000 CMS item limit. So that's gonna allow for more memberships later on, like when that allow, like when that opens up a bigger news newsletter outlet and like like news websites and like CMS heavy websites that weren't able to be created before. Uh, like resources websites and, uh, and like stuff like that so like bigger and bigger projects being migrated to webflow of like and like having a cms that's like scalable to without limit is going to be allowing for that much more we have webflow apps um i'm still not sure how this is like it's still pretty early uh like the apps that have been launched are great but i'm not sure how the integrations are working so far so it's gonna be just fun, like it can open up a whole new business like for, for our agency, like for many other freelancers, but we're still not sure how it is gonna be integrated. So I'm still kind of a little bit skeptical, honestly, on how that's gonna work on in the future, but we'll see. There are some uh, like e-commerce like limits that have been raised that are gonna be great for our clients. Like we have some e-commerce clients that are working well plus it's gonna be a great change. And then the final thing uh, is uh, the Bapple marketplace. Now everything has been brought up to a, to a single marketplace. Uh, how clients can you now find like the experts like us much easier. They can figure out our availability, our location, and many other things. So like hopefully the video has showcased every single feature like in a short overview. So you can just sit back like in ten minutes and figure out everything happening in a world of Webflow. And like you can write down like below kind of what's your the, the most loved feature you love that Webflow just released. So we can start our comments right below. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.